welcome to The Kids Are All Right, a weekly podcast especially for kids that's all about health, happiness and wellness. I'm Michelle and here with me are my co-pilots on this podcast, Buster and Buddy. Hey guys, Buster here. Oh yeah, fan favourite Buddy coming at you. <laughs> and we're on a mission to help you all feel great and live happy. Here we go. Hey, hey. The, the Kids, kids Are All Right. So how are you guys this week? I have to say my legs are feeling a little sore as I went for an extra long run yesterday. I had all this extra energy so I just kept running and running and what I do is I run and I think. So by the time I come home my head is feeling lovely and clear and I feel relaxed. It's just brilliant. Whoa but you know what? I don't really like running. It's boring but I don't mind running when it's to get a ball and hockey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hockey's my thing. Uh, I love that there are so many parts to it. All the passing to teammates, tackling the other team, <laughs> trying to score that goal. I just love it. Yeah, I prefer team games too, Michelle. You guys know that my favourite sport is rugby, but I do enjoy going into my friend's house and messing around on his trampoline. <laughs> and that is a lot of exercise. Oh, we're always so tired after it. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't really matter what way we get our exercise. The important thing is to find that physical activity that we enjoy. Maybe it's cycling, dancing, going for long walks, swimming in the sea, or maybe just going on your scooter. Because it's not just good for your body, but really good for our heads. Oh, defo. Even when I've had like a really busy day or hard homework, as soon as I get out onto that hockey pitch, my head clears and I come home feeling way better. Yeah, me too, Buster. Yeah, there are loads of ways to get the exercise we need. So we went out and we asked some kids what their favourite type of exercise is. The kids say, What? Oh, yeah. My favourite sport is I like doing GAA. Because I get to have fun with my friends and run up and down the pitch. And I like playing camogie as well. And it's just really fun because you get to have fun with your friends once or twice a week. And since I've moved to school, I still get to see my friends from my old school because they're in the same GAA club as me. I like playing GAA in football because I like keeping fit and making friends. My favourite way to train is running. So my favorite way to get exercise is by going out on my bike or on my scooter and I run around the house and sometimes do a of yoga and I feel good. I like to go to fitness for kids and to get fit and make new friends. The kids say, what? Oh yeah. Whoa, there were some really good ones there. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's great to hear all the different ways kids these days are getting busy with exercise. So today we've got the perfect guest to chat with us about all kinds of different ways to get the right amount of physical activity that we need to keep our minds and bodies healthy. It's Sharon Flanagan, founder of fitnessforkids.ie. Welcome to the show, Sharon. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Hey, Sharon. (laughs) Hey, Sharon. How's it going? (laughs) Hi, I'm good. How are you? Really good. So we'll start at the start. I suppose, why should we exercise regularly? So... Exercise is just so important for so many reasons, but exercising regularly ensures that we keep the benefits. So if you do it regularly, you can hold on to the benefits. It helps us stay healthy. It improves our lung function. It builds strong bones, like strong muscles, and it increases like all your muscle strength as well which all help as we grow up. And, you know, I found it amazing. Uh, And you mentioned it there that it's actually really important for our bone health. Yeah. So if you do weight bearing activity, so by using your own body weight to run or jump or dance, you're putting pressure on your bones and creating bone density. So it helps you build stronger bones. So literally build bone. Whoa! Yeah. That's incredible. That's incredible. And you were saying about how it's important to not just do exercise, but to do it regularly. So what does it mean to do physical activity regularly? So it doesn't have to be every morning at a certain time. It doesn't have to be every day at a certain time. If you do a small bit of exercise every day, the recommended is 60 minutes per day. And so if you do, like if you walk to school, if you do PE in school, if you take part in a hobby afterwards, if you just kind of tick along at it, keep doing it. You don't have to do it every day, but it's good to just maintain a healthy body and a healthy mind through exercise. I've heard if you do regular exercise, 
uh, that you build up something called muscle memory so that even if you take a break from exercise for a period that a lot of the strength and fitness that you've built up is actually remembered by your body which means then that it's, it's much easier to get back into exercise again. Yeah, so when you exercise and you do like exercises, you're building these strong muscles that hold on to it. And even if you stop for a while, it'll always be there and you can always go back to it. It'll always be there. Wow. I think this also really shows how exercise really does impact on our physical bodies, that every time we exercise, our body is literally remembering it. So that's really amazing. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, we were just talking about it's not just our bodies that feel good after exercise, but our minds too. (laughs) Yeah, Buster. And I read that exercise also helps increase kids' resilience. And resilience is their ability to deal with difficult things. So by doing exercise, they actually become stronger to be able to deal with the hard things in life. Absolutely. It's so important to exercise because it can help reduce all our anxieties, our stresses. It stimulates a production of a chemical called endorphins and the hormones that help us to feel happy and they help us feel confident in ourselves and what we're doing. Uh, And they also help with our energy levels and they make us sleep better. Wow, that's amazing. So exercise literally makes you feel happy. I knew it. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. Exercise affects us in so many different ways. You'll never, ever regret doing exercise or even trying a little bit of exercise. And if you do exercise with friends, siblings, you're going to work on teamwork. You're going to work on like your social interaction. So again, you'll never regret working out. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah, I love playing my rugby all the time. And I love going on the pitch with all my friends because we have really good fun. But at the same time, we get loads of exercise in too. Yeah, like it, it's so good. Like I cannot recommend any type of exercise enough. It like it increases your heart rate. It gives you more oxygen that travels all around your body. It works on building and growing your brain cells. And Sharon, I've heard that endorphins, those chemicals that are released when we exercise, are actually called another name as well. They're called the happy hormone. Yeah, yeah, the endorphins, when you exercise and you get the endorphins, you will always feel happy. And then that can also lead to you being like very confident, feeling very capable in your abilities. And it's just, it's great for making you feel good. And I think I read some research somewhere recently that's saying, I couldn't believe it, that when you exercise, the endorphins can actually make you feel less physical pain. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, In some parts of the world, doctors are actually prescribing exercise to to reduce stress, like anxieties and depression. Um, So as I said before, you'll never regret doing exercise and it will always make you feel good, even if you only try and even if it's only for a couple of minutes a day. Uh, Sharon, um, sometimes I'm so tired on my way to training. But as soon as I start, I suddenly get loads of energy. And when I come home, I'm still buzzing with energy. Uh, Why is that? Because exercise gives you energy. It boosts all your energy. Those endorphins that we talked about before, they raise your energy levels. They help strengthen your heart, give you more stamina, and they just make you want to do more. So the more exercise you do, the more you'll want to do, and the more stamina you'll build up, more endurance, and you'll just keep building on it. But then, uh, Sharon, what about the kids who don't really like to play sport? I mean, what can they do so that they get enough exercise? Well, not everyone likes sports. Like when I was small, I wasn't into your typical sports, um, but I loved Irish dancing. So that was uh, my exercise. And it didn't necessarily mean that I was going to uh, like my sport. And as I got older, I still absolutely love it. But I don't take part in it now because I do other forms of exercise. But If you don't like sport, there's so many other options that you can do, like even a simple walk, a small jog, which can turn into a run, a mini workout, or just doing like dancing around the kitchen. There's like a simple form of exercise that anybody can do. (laughs) I love doing that. (laughs) Me and Buddy like to rock out. (laughs) Oh yeah. (laughs) Hey Sharon, so if you could recommend five types of exercise that's great for kids, what would they be? (laughs) So one of my top tips would always be swimming because it's one of those life skills it's always going to be important and it can always come in handy so swimming is right up there and then running like let's work on the bone density if you can start off at a jog you can start off at fast walking build up to a jog and then you can develop into a run and then you can run further and you can run faster so running is always a great one 
Then another one would be cycling or scooting, if you prefer. Um, getting outdoors, breathing in fresh air, doing exercise outdoors. And you can also do that one with friends. And it can be as simple or as hard. You can go on flat, you can go on hills, you can make it as hard or as easy as you like. <laughs> yeah, that's like when me and Buddy race our bikes down the hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves that. Then another one would be taking part in sports and PE. So not everybody likes PE, but I think PE has come on an awful lot in school. So taking part in sports can help with like your teamwork. So if you don't focus on like, oh God, I don't like GAA or I don't like soccer, or rugby, you're still working on working with teams, like your social interaction, as well as all the physical benefits as well. And the last one I would recommend is a simple workout. So it doesn't matter what it is. If you follow a little workout plan, it'll help build and keep bones and muscles strong and healthy. And how much exercise should we aim to get each week? Like as a kid, should we be setting goals or targets for ourselves? Yeah, well, if you're going to set yourself a goal, be realistic. So. If you don't have an hour and a half or 60 minutes free in a day with your school, your homework, be realistic and say, okay, well, then I'll just fit in 20 minutes, fit in 10 minutes here and there. So it's recommended that we do 60 minutes a day, but just be realistic in your goals. If it can be achieved, great. Like you can walk to school, you can do a hobby, you can obviously do PE, as I said, and just getting out and about. Is that what I've heard people calling movement snacking, which is like short bursts of energy throughout the day? Yeah, I love this idea. Like I do this regularly at home with my almost three-year-old. It's just like a simple burst of exercise that can be done anywhere, anytime. And we also had like a short challenge that we started off last January. We started off with one minute of exercise and then we added one minute every day. So by the end of January, we had like a 30 minute workout. But then if that was too easy, we said that people could do their age. So if you're nine, you can do nine minutes of exercise ah. and build on that. So you can try the exercise that we supply or you can make a list of all the exercises you like and put in some that you dislike because you never know, you might like them then after a while. Whoa, so you put together loads of different type of workouts. Uh, can you give one for me and Buddy to do and all the kids listening? <laughs> Absolutely. So one of my favorite things to do is make sure that you write out a list of exercises that you like and then write out a few that you dislike or that you're not too keen on. You can cut them out, roll them up and then pick out five. And then if you have a clock nearby, you start when the clock is at 12 and then for 30 seconds, you do that exercise really, really fast. And then when you hit 30 seconds, you take a little break. You make sure you take your big deep breaths and you just have your little recovery. And then you go again when you hit the next minute. And then you can do that, move on to the next exercise and the next exercise. And then you can repeat that whole cycle as many times as you want because you're, you're exercising for 30 seconds but you're also like recovering for 30 seconds. Wow, that's such a good idea. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Yeah. <laughs> that's really great for if the weather's not so great or if your day is just really busy and you can't get out. So it's quite a, an easy way to fit those exercise moments into your day, isn't it? Absolutely. Like I have kids that used to come to my class and they would do it while they're waiting on the car. So if they were traveling in a car and someone wasn't ready, they would do that. I had one little boy that used to do his squats while he was brushing his teeth. So oh. you, can, you, can always, you can always fit it in somewhere. That's brilliant. Uh, but also, what about when you have those days where you just think to yourself, oh, I don't really want to do any exercise. How can you push yourself through that barrier to say, no, I want to do it. I really, really need to do it. So we all have days like that and that's normal. And it's really important to remember that it's okay to have days where you don't want to. But uh, as I said a few times before, you'll never ever regret, even if you only try for a few minutes to do it. So if you set a goal, a realistic goal, just do it. And then if you don't feel like doing your typical exercise that you've chosen to do, get out, go outside and just be outside. Get, breathe in fresh air and keep it simple. Like there's no point in you doing something that you dislike. Find something that you like to do. So if you are choosing a hobby, find something that you really enjoy because it won't be a chore to go and do. Oh, cool. Hey, hey, Sharon, what exercise do you like to do the best? I love, at the moment, it changes all the time. So I love walking with my girls. Um, I have three little girls, so I love to bring them for walks. 
but when I'm not with them, I like to do my little exercise workouts. So I have some equipment in my house that I do. Um, I have like kettlebells and things like that. So I like to do all those kind of things. Ah, that sounds amazing. But you don't necessarily need equipment and that's what's so br- brilliant about your short workouts and the idea of writing your exercises you like on a slip of paper. Maybe some days you could even do a lucky dip. Yeah, yeah. I have lollipop sticks that I used to bring to class with all the exercises in. And if a child didn't want to take part in something, I'd say, OK, go and pick whatever one you want. So pick a stick. Like a lucky dip. <laughs> yeah, pick a stick, pick an activity and then you can just do whatever you want to do. And uh, Sharon, I have an extra special question and I'd like to ask it to all of our guests. Would you mind if I asked it? No problem. So we like to call it Big Me to Little Me. So basically, if you could go back in time, what advice would Big Sharon give to Little Sharon? To not worry as much. I think everybody can worry about the little things, about not having your homework done perfectly or worrying that your friend won't be in school that day as a little support. I think anything, if I could tell myself anything, is not to worry as much as I did. Oh, that's one of the best pieces of advice we've gotten. <laughs> hey. That's just lovely. That's gorgeous. I think uh, we've really got loads of ideas from you there, Sharon. And I think the kids listening will definitely be able to find little ways to movement snack throughout their day. I think that's a great idea. So thanks so much yeah. for all of that. Yeah, it was brilliant. Thanks so much. Yeah. Hey, what's your favourite animal? Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon, thank you so much. That was great. No problem at all. Thanks, Bye. Sharon. Bye. 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 <laughs> It's time to r- 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 rewind, we can rethink time. Yeah. Here we go, yo. So, guys, it's important to make exercise your best friend. Yeah, and it doesn't just have to be a sport, remember. There are so many other ways to get the exercise you need. And we learned that we need exercise not just for our body's health, but to keep our minds healthy, too. I still can't believe that exercise make you feel less pain. That's mad. <laughs> and remember, the really important one she said... You will never, ever regret a workout, no matter how big or small it is. Yeah, and it's mad that doing a weight-bearing exercise like running or jogging actually builds bones. And what about finding out that exercise is so powerful that doctors are now prescribing it to their patients for some illnesses instead of medicine? Like, whoa! Yeah, like, doctor, doctor, I'd like one prescription of all-day hockey instead of school. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to r- 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 rewind, we can rethink time. Yeah. Here we go, yo. <laughs> and after all that talk of exercise, I think it's time we exercise our laughter muscle. You get it, Buster? Did you get it? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Connor, age nine. Why does the burger go to the gym? To get nicer buns. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grace, age six. And I'm going to tell you my joke. Uh, what is a banana's favourite exercise? It's the splits. Uh, what do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my funny bone sure is tickled. <laughs> the kids are all right. So listen, we've learned loads today. We've laughed lots and it's time to give our brains a massage. Are you guys ready for this week's mini mindfulness moment? Oh yeah. Hi everyone. Hope you're all well. And welcome to this episode of mini mindfulness moments. Today's episode is called popcorn breathing. Can you imagine you're at the cinema and you have a lovely hot box of popcorn? Do you like popcorn? Mm, I know I do. So breathe in deeply. Smell the popcorn. Breathe out slowly. Cool it down. Breathe in deeply. Smell the popcorn. Breathe out slowly. Cool it down. Breathe in deeply. Smell the popcorn. Breathe out slowly. Cool it down. Well done. Bye for now.
Oh, I feel so relaxed after that, guys. Do you know, it's been great today. Thanks to all the kids who sent in their audio clips. And do you know, if you have something you want to tell us, we want to hear a story, a question or your favourite joke. We'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is record it in the voice recorder app on a parent's smartphone and then email it into us. The email is in our show notes. Yeah, make sure to check out our website, www.thekidsareallright.ie <laughs> for more details about sending in your clips and you'll find loads of more info about the show and everything and everyone we talk to. We really hope you enjoyed this week's show and learned loads. If so, then tell all your friends. Yes, indeed. And remember, guys, try to be healthy, be well, and be happy. <laughs> See you next time on The Kids Are All Right. It's time to... Air guitar in the car! Or wherever you are.